Now it's time to answer one of your questions live, so let's check in with Dr. Sears back in our web center. Hey, Travis. You know, I'm getting a ton of great questions here, and this one comes from Facebook. It's from Rebecca, and she writes, Docs, what age should a woman get a thyroid test? Is the test just for women, or should my husband get one, too? You know, this is a good question. Actually, newborns is one of that, checking the thyroid is one of the most important tests we do, but uh, I'm curious to see what Lisa has to say about the women. Yeah, oh, that's a great question because so many women forget about their thyroid. Well, let me explain what the thyroid is first. Thyroid is this bilobular gland that's right around your Adam's apple. And basically, it controls energy usage in your body. That's why a lot of women are like, please check my thyroid because I'm gaining weight. Well, it's always good if we can find something wrong because then, then I can change it. Um, but also, it can cause women irregularities with their period as well. And um, it can actually cause birth defects if it's irregular before you get pregnant. And the answer to the question is regularly after 35, unless there's a family history or there's other you know, problems. Sometimes you might get symptoms of fatigue or weight gain if it's, un, you know, if you have an underactive thyroid or if you have an overactive thyroid, you might have sweating, clammy hands, that type of thing. So it's very important to get it checked. You can do a self-exam at home to see if there's any irregularities. Doctor, why don't you come over right. here and you can show people a little and, bit of what caveat, we would do at the office. Uh, Travis, in, in a normal thyroid gland, which is only 25 to 30 grams, and you see the this is a normal thyroid gland. It's small. It's about three centimeters by five centimeters. So it's hard even for a doctor to detect it even unless there's something abnormal, whether it's too big or it has lumps on it. So the good news is if you're, you're going to do this exam at home, you can take a mirror, hold it to the side, drink a glass of water, extend your neck. And then what we want to do is, is watch our Adam's apple as we swallow because that thyroid gland is intimately connected to the trachea and the, uh, the Adam's apple. So as he moves... That's my Adam's apple. Adam's apple is right here and that gland, and you know, I can't really feel it or see it in somebody like Travis, which I would expect because he's lean and, and his, his thyroid is of normal size. If he was to come into my office, I would also examine him from the back like so and then the other thing I would do is I would have him turn to one side, and then that puts this nice muscle, he has sternocleidomastoid muscle, under stretch, which also pushes out that thyroid gland right there, which in his case is perfectly Okay, normal. Doc. So if you, you do see again. an irregularity at home, whether you're shaving or you're doing the test I just did where you swallow and look in a mirror, you wanted to get it formally checked out by your doctor. Right. And if they're worried and they can't palpate something, Obviously, they'll order an ultrasound. They'll do the thyroid function studies and figure out if everything's okay. That's right. So you don't know if you don't get it checked out. Great question, Rebecca.